Hey, did you know that YouTube made some changes that make it easier and a little trickier to make your Hangout on Air show up properly right inside your YouTube channel? Watch this video and you can see the process to make sure that your Hangout on Air videos are as easy as possible to discover and as effortless as possible to get going by you, the host. Check it out. In the YouTube channel, you have an area called Featured, and we want to be able to let people land right here on my YouTube channel and watch the live Hangout on Air without me having to do anything after the show starts. So that's the goal. Let's see if we can make it work. What's really important for you is you need to go here to where your channel settings are on your channel on YouTube. Click Channel Settings. Go to the tabs. And I've been using any one of these three different settings on the left, and it was failing. It was not working properly. So what you need to do is choose this last one, Live Broadcaster. That's the one that seems to be the key to make this all work automatically. The other ones may work, but I know this one does work for sure. These past, when I tried testing them, failed. They, they just didn't work. You want to make sure your featured chat tab is what the default tab is, and you've got live broadcaster chosen, and then we're going to choose done editing. Okay, so now it's going to automatically start loading whatever the defaults were. I'm going to pause it for now, and we're going to go back and start up a Hangout. So we're going to choose Start Hangout in the upper right corner. This brings up our screen where we're ready to give it a name. So this is going to be test number six. I'm not inviting anybody. If it was a real hangout, I might invite them a little later. In fact, I usually start out with just me and then I add other guests, guests at a later time. So we're going to enable it. It's telling me what's the name of the channel that it's going to. This is correct. So I'll click OK. Then I click Hangout. So we've started our Hangout on Air. I'm going to minimize this a little bit. We've started our Hangout on Air. We still need to be able to see this red button. I'm going to do one of the first things I do, which is turn on the Hangout Toolbox, which is a place where you can find the lower third, which is now shown as an LT, but we're looking for Hangout Lower Third. I've got some presets ready to go. I'm going to choose the all-in-one. And it is backwards, which has been normal. Moritz has, the guy that wrote this program, has just changed and added the ability to mirror it by choosing a button. So I've got it mirrored. I will hide those settings. We are still not started. We're still in what I call green room mode. And I'm going to go back here to YouTube. I, in my featured video area, will choose Edit. Uh, that looks different. <laughs> Every time I look at this, is slightly different. Look at that. All right, so all right, now it's wider. Okay, so we're going to choose from the list here, upcoming live events. That is our goal. We are not live yet, but we have one coming up, so we choose upcoming live events. I'm going to tell it to automatically start playing so that when people land on the channel, it'll just start playing wherever we are in the show. Um, you can prevent ads or not. I'm preventing them now for this training video and later I'll turn them back on and then since that is what I want I will then click apply and this is not going to show the demo properly I'm going to click edit just see what we get to choose a featured video I want upcoming live events let's turn this off oh all right so hey you might run into this you might as well learn so we're going to make sure that the one we're looking for is the right one and not the automatic one. Uh, again, leaving automatic, start playing, working, and leave my ads off for now, and then I'm going to apply. Now we should start to see, yeah, there it is. My ads off for now, and then I'm going to apply. Now we should start to see, yeah, okay, that's enough. So this is a live stream of me but it's not visible to the public at this point because I have not turned the start broadcast button on. So now going back to the, okay, so this is a training video. So let me get my head straight on that. This is what we're doing. We're training as to the process, even as I learn it. Okay, so I'm going to start the broadcast. Everything is set inside YouTube. We have 
chosen edit. We've chosen it to do the upcoming live event. So now when we've added our, we've invited our other people to come into the show, we've done the other things we want to do for getting ready in the green room mode. Now we are ready to hit start broadcast. And I click that. It tells me it's going to be recorded. I say thank you. And we've got a 10 second countdown. We will hear two beep tones. The second beep tone after that is when we are truly live. Hello out there in Google Plus and YouTube Hangout on Airland. We are live doing some more testing. This is test number six for today. And hopefully we've got it all figured out and we will make this into a training video so that you can all learn from and benefit from the pain that I've been going through. I've had a little help from Mike Downs, who's helped me out with one key little component, which will be part of the training. So I'm going to do a screen share. I'm going to show you my YouTube channel, which was showing a preview of what was about to come for me because I own the channel and was not visible for you. But now you can see that I'm going to hit refresh and it should automatically start showing after about a 12 or 14 second delay. There it goes. It automatically now. starts showing after about a 12 or 14 second delay. There it goes live now. So I'm going to pause it. I did not need to do anything for YouTube to automatically start playing the broadcast. So I'm going to turn off screen share for a moment. Now we're back. You see my face. So we're ready to end the broadcast. We did figure it out. And the key is, actually, let's do that as a screen share so I can show you. I'll make this into a training video in a moment. So I will bring us back to YouTube. So now you can see that. The key is under channel settings to make sure that your tabs are set to live broadcaster, this far right one. Prior to that, I was doing testing with overview or some of these other layouts, and that was not working. It was failing the automatic preload of the Hangout on air, and I would have to come in manually. If you turn on live broadcasting, then it's working right. So that right there broadcasting is the key. Then, let's go turn off the screen share. So there it is. Um, what can I say? This stuff is new. It keeps changing every single day, it seems. So I'm trying to help you guys stay up to date. I will make a training video as to how to go about doing this and publish that so you can all benefit from the behind the scenes stuff that I use to set things up and after the show ends. So that's it for now. See you guys later. Find me on Google Plus. Circle me. Ronnie Bincer. I'm your Hangout Helper. See ya. Okay, so we've ended the broadcast. I'm still doing the training part of the video. And uh, we can go. We've still got 10 or 12, maybe 14 seconds of the broadcast still running. But once it's done, you can go back here and you'll see the live now should go away um, in those 12 seconds, which is going to be way too long for me to just sit around waiting. So I'm going to come back here. And this is the point. Uh, the afterglow portion where we're inside the Google Plus Hangout, it is no longer live, but it was a Hangout on Air. So you'll note here in the upper left corner, it says off air. That's sort of your cue that you can talk with your guests, talk about what just happened, mention things that they might want to do better the next time along with yourself, etc. And then you end the whole show, all of it gone by clicking in the upper left corner, the close button. So there you have it. That's been Ronnie Bincer telling you about the latest and greatest stuff with Hangouts on Air inside Google Plus and YouTube and how the two interact together. Keep up with all this stuff by following me. Add me to your circles. Give me a thumbs up. Add some comments. Share this stuff with your friends and look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye. Hey, just a little epilogue thing here. I went back to my YouTube channel, clicked on the edit area right here, and because I had left it set to previous live events, or it did it all by itself, that's what was chosen. But when I chose this option, you'll note here, uploaded videos, jumps right to previous live events. There are no more upcoming live events. That just seemed to be kind of something it was stuck in while I was trying to do the video training. So hopefully that's not something you don't end up running into and it stays there. If it does, just come back maybe an hour or two later and you should be back to this. So you could say, I'm going to choose my 
uploaded videos, the uploaded li video list, which will be right here, which is the one that you want to display. And then, or tell it to be the most recent one if you like, and then scroll down to where it says apply. 